Welcome back. Sandia National Laboratories, along with the Applied Machine Intelligence Organizations and Explora, are joining forces to host the inaugural Thunderbird Hacks Hackathon that's going to be catering to high schoolers of varying programming skills. Telling us more about this event and what participants can expect, we are joined this morning by Sandia National Labs computer scientist Catherine Appleby and a senior educator from Explora, Jew Lauderdale. Welcome to you both. This is exciting, guys. Just want to tell you. Thank you for having us here. Yeah. So usually when people talk about hackers, we, I mean, we kind of freak out. We're like, oh my gosh, you know, are they getting to our computers, our devices? There's a good reason for this kind of collaboration. Catherine, we'll start with you. How does it all work? So it's a little different from your typical definition of hacking. Okay. Um, so students will be actually creating something. So okay. in this hackathon, it's machine learning based. So they'll be creating an AI model to actually make predictions on a music data set. Oh. So they're competing to make the best predictions they can. That's pretty interesting. Nice little uh, spin on it right there. Uh, Drew, let's talk about Explora's role in all this. Uh, yeah, we're hosting. Uh, okay. So the students will be coming to Explora. They're going to be working in our tech space, um, which is the closest space to the teen lounge, which also means it's the closest space to the snacks. Uh, they're also going to be having lunch there in the teen lounge. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic area for exactly what we'll be doing. Computers and snacks, I mean, the two go hand in hand for teens right there. Why not bring them together? And, and of course, at Explora, where I mean, there's so much just interest in science generated for adults and children alike. Uh, let's kind of talk about uh, how did this come about and, uh, you know, for those participating, what did they get out of it? Yeah, so it originally came about because I did a bunch of hackathons in high school, and okay. it's part of what uh, brought me to New Mexico, where I am today, okay. uh, as a computer scientist. Very cool. um, so what students will get out of this, they'll um, learn a lot about coding and machine learning. No coding is necessary or experience coming into this. Um, and then we'll also offer chances to speak with um, career scientists um, and programmers and maybe even some interviews for a summer internship. Wow. Wow, talking about, you know, having a little springboard into like maybe delving into the career in computers, this is a great way to start it out. Um, so for needing any coding experience prior to entering, I mean, is that necessary? None okay. necessary. We'll, okay. we'll have lots of volunteers and resources to help out. Um, the goal is to have students learn as much as they possibly can during the event. Very cool. Um, so registration, I mean, is there limited seating? How does that work? So for registration, um, the students will need to go, or parents will need to go to www.explora.us, okay. and it's right there on our homepage. It'll be Thunderbird Hacks. There is limited space, but don't be worried. Go ahead and sign up. In fact, we're going to suggest that participants sign up with a friend because right. we are doing this in teams. Uh, that doesn't mean that you can't come alone. Uh, if students do want to come alone, that's totally fine. Uh, we'll just put them with uh, uh, another student that came on their own. It's almost kind of like a meetup for nerds in town. So Hey, yeah. there you go. A little early networking early yeah. on in life. Uh, the date for that, again, is taking place when? January the 20th, okay. and it'll be from 9 a.m. all the way until 6 p.m., so it's all go. day. Nice full day dedicated yeah. to computer hacking on a different level and the snacks. So what more can you ask for? Thank you both for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Thank you much. Thank you. Yep.